There's a story about physics Nobel laureate Niels Bohr that there was a horseshoe hanging in his office. Someone comes into his office and says, you believe in superstitions? He said, God forbid, no. But I heard that a horse's shoe gives strength even if you don't believe that it works. Superstitions have been accompanying humanity for thousands of years. Even during the Age of Enlightenment, even during the technological and scientific era, they're there. What is the root of it all? What is the power of superstitions? Where do they come from? We're not familiar with nature as a whole. There are many acting forces that suddenly appear to us, and we don't know what to do with them. And then we believe in all sorts of different things that can supplement our power of faith and that we're familiar with and are in control of all of these forces, and that's called superstitions. So it's because we're unfamiliar with the forces of nature? Right. How does Kabbalah recommend a person to deal with the unknown? Faith, first and foremost, needs to be in the force of love and connection. That the Creator is one force that unites everything, that sustains all parts of creation in a single system. And if I connect myself to such a force too, that I want for everything to be as one, then I'm on the right track. So what distinguishes between superstition and the power of faith? Superstition is something that I see no reason for, no result from. There is a psychological force that's acting here, and the force of faith that you previously talked about. It's not only psychological, there's also a rational force to it that talks about love another as yourself, the force of love, the force of connection. This is the superior force in nature, so I'm already drawn to something rational that obliges me to take certain actions in this world as well. So according to Kabbalah, if a person directs himself towards the power of love, it will protect him? Yeah, because the whole of nature exists in the power of love and connection, and a person who wants to be in this force draws this force upon himself as well. And then he doesn't need to believe in superstitions and be afraid of different things. No. It's called not to believe in other gods.